Hello there guys, this is just a quick update regarding the FPV goggles version 1 and the FPV system that went out of production yesterday according to the statement on DJI's website. Now today DJI have actually shared a statement with me regarding this and it says as follows. DJI is still making the FPV goggles version 2 and the remote controller for our customers in the FPV community. Due to supply issues for some components of the FPV E-Unit, DJI has worked with a partner to provide an alternative system of equal performance that works with the FPV Goggles Version 2 and Remote Controller. Customers can purchase the system around mid-April. We apologise for any inconvenience this may have caused our customers. DJI will share updates on the alternative system availability soon. Customers can sign up for our newsletter or join our online community on Facebook for the latest news and updates. So, what does this mean? Well, what they are saying is they are working with a partner to provide a new ear unit that will work with the version 2 goggles and FPV remote. On the goggles, there is no comments about the version 1s. It simply says this ear unit will work with the version 2. With regards to the remote, they say FPV remote, which I assume is this one. But it could mean this one. But I actually think it means this one. They have not said who that partner is. And they haven't really given any details on price, specification or its overall performance. Other than they saying it is going to be of equal performance. So what should you do? Well, if you're an FPV goggles version one owner, what we do know is Cadex have said they are going to continue to produce the Vista. I would suggest if you're a V1, stocking up on the ear units you're going to need for the future. Your system is as good today as it was yesterday before DJI said this. It is only future availability of ear units that could get difficult, so I would suggest stocking up. It doesn't say if this new ear unit is going to work with the V1s. It specifically says in the statement the V2s, so all we can do at this moment in time is take it as that. There are no guarantees V1 users are going to have compatibility. If you're a V2 user, you've really got nothing to worry about. I would, again, if you like the DJI ear unit, I would stock up on it. However, there appears to be a solution in the works for at least the V2s, so there isn't a lot to worry about there overall. Now, as I've said, there's no information on spec. We do not know if it's going to be dual band. We do not know what other features it may have. To me, it sounds like it's going to basically be a replacement product, nothing improvements moving forward. Um, I will talk about this a bit more in another video when uh, I've got a bit more time. I can't do that now because there are some interesting things you can read into it. But overall, it's good news. They finally told us what's going on. It's not end of the world. Your system still works. Just if you're V1 user, I would stock up on rear units though because I'm not expecting this new one when it does come to work with it. Anyway, that's it. That's the quick update. Um, thank you for watching. If you are new, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well.